oh my god there is a 24 second last of us season two teaser out there and we're going to talk about it for at least an hour Jerica, why are we here today? Tell the people. Yo, listen, you know, I figured this episode wouldn't get as many episodes, uh, or this, this show wouldn't get as many episodes because, you know, The Last of Us is not currently airing. Um, but we are in uh, preparation mode, which I, I didn't, I honestly didn't expect this teaser to get released as soon as it did. Um, but we're getting closer to the release of season two, which I predict to be early next year. So we have this other show, you, you know, it's from JK Games. That's why I, that's why you're here. But Clickerbait is our sh- dedicated show because we talk about Last of Us so much, so much. <laughs> it just sort of needed its own uh, place where we can separate that content from this. Um, but specifically, this is a show about the TV show. But we have both yeah. played the games. Yes. So we are we even pinned up there. Hey, there might be some spoilers today. Um, so this is the perfect place for other gamers like yourselves, I would assume. You want to hear us talk about our thoughts with what's going to happen in the show. So this is why yeah. Clickerbait exists, and that's probably why you don't see it pop up as much, because there's not anything to really talk about. Until now, mm-hmm. 24 yeah. seconds worth of new things Woo! to talk about. Absolutely. And uh, honestly, if you want a good binge, if you are new to Clickerbait, we... Um, Season one of The Last of Us on HBO, we took it episode by episode and really broke it down and talked about our thoughts, um, did a lot of comparison from game to show. If you've only seen the show, um, again, like Jerrica said, I would probably proceed with caution because we are going to be talking about things that we know from the second game. Um, But that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be in the show, but the main plot points we will be discussing. So just keep that in mind. I do have that comment pin, just in case. The last episode we actually did on Clickerbait, um, we discussed the season two casting in depth. Um, And we talked about the uh, Last of Us, the original game remaster. So I love that we have this space where we can really nerd out because it is one of mine and Jerrica's favorite games like of all time. So we're happy you're here. We can't wait to talk about it. We're going to watch it together. So if you have no idea what we're talking about, (laughs) if you're not like a crazy fan like me and Jerrica and you just like casually played it, there's a teaser that got released um, right before the last episode of Game of Thrones, or not Game of Thrones, kind of. The dragons. The dragon. It's the dragon Which, no show. No spoilers. No I spoilers seen for that. that episode. Um, but I screamed because I, you know, I was like looking so forward to House of the Dragon. I was like, awesome. I didn't even consider that we might get anything Last Me of Us related. And then they started playing like this uh, big like what's coming soon to HBO, and I screamed. I was like, oh shit! And I stood up. I ran around a little bit, and I was like, I paused it. I was like, oh, I gotta sit da- back down for this. I didn't expect this. Yeah. This is even better than the finale of uh, House of the Dragon, and I hadn't even watched it yet. Um, <laughs> I was like, "This is this this take. I'm good now. Um, I'm just yeah. kidding. I wanted to keep watching uh, House of the Dragon, but <laughs> obviously, it came out of nowhere. So, yeah, you, Jerrica texted me. I was actually just got back from vacation. I was at the beach with my family, <laughs> um, and so I. I obvi- I also obviously did not expect this at all. And so I was like, just, I don't remember what I was doing. I was probably having a margarita or something mm. just like on the beach or something like that. And then I get a text from Jerrica. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> um, so I was really excited. I immediately was trying to like look up clips and like you texted me so soon after, like there wasn't even, the clip wasn't even up yet. We didn't, like, we didn't even, I didn't post it. And I was like, I've got to yeah. text everyone I know that loves the last of us to say <laughs> you can watch this before you watch house of the dragon so yeah but yeah i thought it was really cool but yeah preface this by saying it's n- no means a trailer mm-hmm. um which we'll talk about later like I th- that will definitely come i'm sure jerica has theories on what she thinks um but yeah so this is just literally just a teaser it actually is tacked on the end of like a what's coming soon to hbo little like thing um but we're gonna we're gonna go through it it's coming 2025 is this the first confirmation we got of like coming 2025 or did we already get that confirmation i remember i feel like they they said that in like a social post at some point like 2025 probably 
Probably so. Also, shout out to Ravi for subscribing. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Hello. I'm nice. Very nice. Cactuar. Um, I love the cactuars. It's really cute. I didn't even know that was a thing. I had to teach wow. Audrey all about the cactuars. Uh, you know, she's been, you know, she watches me play Final Fantasy, so it's really hard to introduce <laughs> her to those little, little dudes. Is that Final Fantasy? Mm hmm. Is that what that is? Oh, okay, okay. Cute, mm -hmm. cute. I love that so much. Um, all That's right. Well, we're wearing a Final Fantasy one? shirt today. Wow. That was just, you know, uh, I'm today wearing I a... sort of forgot. <laughs> I'm just wearing a band tee. Band I need more tea. gaming shirts. Well, I should Honestly. give you some because I have too many. We do have our matching Last of Us shirts that we will have to wear. I know. Oh, I should have worn that today. Man, we really dropped the ball there. <laughs> Drop the mushroom. Drop the Joel. Drop the Joel. Dropped him. Sad. Anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> we should go ahead. Do we want to go ahead and get into it? Is there anything else we should preface? Oh, the no, video wait, with? We're, well, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to watch this. But yeah, what's this episode? We're going to watch it. Real quick, just the 24 seconds we have. And then we're going to go back and, you know, of course, scene by scene, talk about what we're seeing. What do we think about it? Is this going to, you know, do we have any other thoughts? I don't know where I was going with that. But, yeah, we're going to yeah. we'll go by scene by scene. And Absolutely. at the end, uh, we'll just talk about uh, after seeing this, what do we All think? Right. What do we think is going to happen? Yeah. Uh, and then we have, like, uh, I know Kayla pulled up some notes, like some... Uh, I guess since this or even recently, because I think they're about to be done filming. Uh, there's a, some interviews out there with Craig and yeah. Neil talking about production and stuff. So we'll talk about it a little yeah. bit. Cool. Yeah, that's it. Absolutely. I'm Let's, so excited. Definitely in the chat, go ahead and you can go ahead and start sending some of your thoughts and we'll go over those too. Should have it queued up. So we're going to watch it. Everyone also should be able to hear it. Just a second. Let us know if you can. All right, here we go. Ah, yeah. Did you hurt her? <gasps> and what? What did you do? I saved her. Oof. That is it. Yeah, that's that's definitely a twenty four second clip. But in my when, yeah. I, when I saw it the first time, it felt like two minutes. It felt longer, I guess, because technically the whole like quote that, you're ad right. is longer. It was you know? trickery. It made me feel like we got a lot more footage than what we did. All yeah, right. but honestly, I do feel like, and we're gonna get into this because I think there's like I, when I was writing them down, the different scenes. There's like ten different yeah. kind of like scenes, right? Um. And each one, I do feel like we get enough in this to where I agree. It, it truly is like a teaser. Mm -hmm. It truly is like a, ooh, look what, and I think that they purposely put some stuff in here that we'll discuss that might be misleading intentionally. So I can't wait to talk about it. But this, uh, this, this, uh, this opening shot was great. Uh, I could I could have just had this and been fine. No, I, I take that back. Give me as much as you want. Uh. HBO, that's fine. But this is just opening little scene here, uh, directly from the game. Gives you goosebumps. Directly. Oh uh, my gosh. And you know, <gasps> I, I really hope they, um, you know, with The Last of Us Day next month, I forget what day it's on. It's like September 26th, I believe. You Something can, like that. Someone else can look it up. Um, oh, I can look sure, it up I really want them to, because obviously with this, you get a little snippet. I want, I hope they recreate the, the first. September 26th was right. Oh, good. I'm so good. I really hope they recreate uh, the same trailers we got for the, for part two of the game, like recreate the actual trailers. You know, I know there's one from like the second big trailer for the last of us part two was um, this scene where Ellie is dancing and with Dina but there's a it's whole so other, good. there's a whole other combat scene um, when they shoot it off. I guess to show off gameplay, so, which, which they don't have to include any of that. But you know, I'd like for them to recreate that or recreate the very first trailer for The Last of Us, and that's mm -hmm. just when you know all you see is this person playing the guitar with a tattoo, and you just don't know who it is because um, <sighs> Ellie's grown up a little bit. But I hope they like 
especially that first trailer where she's playing the guitar and Joel's walking through the house. Mm-hmm. And she looks up and says, I'm going to kill every last one of them. I hope they like that re- would be iconic. It'd just be really they... cool for them to recreate the, the these game trailers when they talked about the game for the first time or the second yeah. time. I think that'd be really cool. But even with this opening shot here, just like it's just from the game, and it it's so cool to see even the the farm the uh, the barn where they have the dance all lit up. Mm-hmm. It's just it's wild to see it mm-hmm. in live action. And I try to think, like, if you're watching this and you don't already know, like, I try to think from a perspective of someone who literally just watched the show. Um, like, I think that the intention, too, is to kind of be like, I almost think you can tell by this that Ellie is, like, outside looking in mm. on, like, the peacefulness that they're getting to experience in Jackson um, and, like, the that she's not really a part of it. Like you can already kind of tell she's like standing outside like of like isolated. This space. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think <clears throat> that that seems pretty intentional. Um, and I'm sure there's like reasons why they've picked like specific scenes to show. But I, I when I first saw this, I think this was a perfect opening like sequence. Yeah. Like, oh, oh my God. Iconic. So Sonic. Oh, uh, gives me chills. Uh, this is this little, very good. It's good. I can't wait to see more of this scene. Yes. Um, What's all next? right, let's go to what's the next. Ah, uh, first glimpse of Ellie's tattoo, and yes. even we'll further go a little bit further in the clip. Um, I think it's very neat that we get to have. I, I'm just saying in general, like having a show that can go further with things, and like obviously put a big emphasis on her tattoo and the the burn mark that she has because she's trying to hide the tattoo. Um, I think it's really cool, like the potential that we could actually see that moment happen versus just yeah. be something that Ellie is talking about, right? Like, I yeah. really hope we see her trying to hide the bite mark and then she gets the yeah. tattoo to like cover it up a little bit better. Yeah. It would be cool because you're right, like, because this hap- that happens off screen in the game, right? Like, none of yeah. that we see. And so I think that would be a cool addition, like almost like a flashback kind of moment. Mm-hmm. Um, and I do think that, oh, when I saw this, it made me sad, Jerica. What? When I saw this, it made me sad. No, it is sad. It's like, oh. And I'm just like, poor little Ellie. She just had to grow up so fast. And yeah. like, I mean, I I do think does this in a way, I mean, well, I think some this in addition to some things that we go to in a little bit later, I think we do confirm that like it is the time jump in a way. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, like I think this kind of confirms that it may not be as drastic because in the games it's ten years. No, it's no, a, it's um, less. It's a little less. Like okay, she was fourteen. I think it's like four or five years. Five years, four or okay. five years later. Yeah, because I think she's eighteen or nineteen in the second mm-hmm. game and here. Um, so it looks like they are going to be taking the time jump probably, probably five pretty, years. Yeah. They'll, they'll be jumping just like in the, yeah in the game. But, uh, Ravi says, uh, he hopes in the show that they do more flashbacks cause we don't really see any of the flashbacks in the game or in between the two games. So yeah, like the time frame. we've talked about this on another clicker beat episode. Like, yeah, I wonder how much more they give us in this season versus, I mean, you think about the, um, I've already forgot the other guy's name, Bill, and what's his face, his name. Oh, and like episode three was a whole, yeah, the longest episode. I think that was the longest episode from season one, if I'm not mistaken, or one of the longer ones. And yeah. that whole episode was pretty much stuff we had never seen from the game. Um, so this is exciting. I know we were just breaking. We're literally we could have just talked about, hey, how do you think her tattoo looks here? And we've went down <laughs> this rabbit hole of like, man, I really hope they show the scene where she. <laughs> actually burns her arm and like yeah. tries to hide the the uh bite mark so uh, yeah i think that that would be cool any other sure. thoughts here kayla before we move on not really no okay. i think that pretty much sums it up oh it's so cool i had to look at it one more time it's dope all right and this whole like you can't i turned off audio so you can't hear it now but um First thing, you know, Joel's talking, which I'll go back. What was what was he saying at the beginning? I'm, I'm the worst at, like, trying to remember. What was he saying? Well, he, 
He so- says, like, did you hurt her? And he says, um, there's like did a little gap. Her? No. No. What then? What did you do? So you have this new character played by, she- if you love Shit's Creek and Home Alone. And I know she's been in other things, but off the top of my head, that's what comes quickest. Uh, Catherine O'Hara, right? That's her name. Yeah. Uh, she is uh, being casted in the show. We knew that. I uh, heard about it, but we just don't know who she's playing. And we don't, I, she's not in the game. Not in the game. Exactly. This character yeah. is not in the game. So this is a brand new character. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll discuss, we want to leave it to the end, what, what I think about this dialogue that's happened between, between her and Joel. I'll say that to the last. So- yeah, 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 that's fine. Because I think this might be the most speculation that we do on this because it is the a brand new person that we haven't seen. Yeah. Um, so I think we say that to the end. Yes. Leave your theories in the chat if you want. All right. Oh, God. Oh, my God. First oh, my uh, God. Uh, scene of Joel um, in part two. Looking real sad. Got Looking tears. Real fine. Eyes are, yeah, he's, all, he's also very attractive when he's sad. <laughs> You know, <laughs> which will be the whole episode for the whole season. Yeah. So yeah, let's really just enjoy it. Like, His hair's grown out a little bit. Yep. He's got some gray, more gray. Oh, God. he's mad. Can I add something really quick? Yeah, I do think it's very worth noting that they really are seeming to stick to the like. This man does not regret his decision. Yeah, <laughs> and. He's show we're getting that right front and center, which I mean, we know, right? As like, I mean, I'm sure you know they'll dive into the more complex complexities of it all. Like, one of the reasons why we love this game, this show, and this franchise so much. But like, she's asking him, like, you know, did you hurt her? And he's like, no, like, I saved her, and that was my goal is like to save her. And so, man's is sticking, sticking to it, but he's like, obviously, he's so sad. And so, like, yeah. I wonder if this sadness, because, like, back to Robbie's point, like, I hope they show a little bit more of Ellie and Joel in between the time skip to where, yeah. which we get a little bit of that in the game, like, what creates the barrier between them. But even at the end of the season one, like, she's asking him, like, are you telling me, the, I forget the actual dialogue, but are, are you telling me the truth? Is this what happened? Uh, and she, you can already see that there's a little, she's... She's having she's she's not sure if she can trust him. She's like she can yeah. she feel something in her gut here. So I wonder if some of the reasons in this scene where he's talking through this is that they're having challenges connecting, which in the game you get a little bit of that, obviously, but like maybe in this in the show you get to see a little bit more of where they're really clashing and having having problems. So Yeah. Um or he just feels sad about what he did and he's trying to convince yeah. himself he did the right thing. So I don't know. Um, if it's the Joel we know from the game, he's not upset about what he did at all. So I, I would assume <laughs> they're sticking with the, 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 the game here. And, you know, he's, That's what I think. he's just sad because he can't tell Ellie the truth and she hates him both since he did it or if he didn't do it, he's made things worse by lying. Uh, yeah. But anyways, any other thoughts? Not on this one besides his little tears. Very sad. <laughs> this one's really interesting. Okay? Yeah. Like, a couple things this could be, but, like, what do you think when you saw uh, Ellie screaming on what uh, looks to be a hospital bed? What do, you, what, do you, what do you think this is? Or where do you think this is from? What's happening? My immediate thought is that this is a nightmare, that she's, like, waking mm, up from a nightmare. I didn't think about that. Okay. Either... Either that it is a nightmare actively that we're seeing or she's like waking up from one. I will say, though, like thinking about what I know about Ellie, like versus like game and show. um, This looks like pure terror. Yeah, like, this this doesn't look like I'm about to fight a clicker and like I'm my life is in danger. This looks I mean, this looks more like somebody I love is in danger and not like a like something like that, you know what or I mean? Or a clicker's eating my baby toe, and y'all aren't doing anything to help me. Like, yeah, oh, this hurts. <laughs> like something, yeah. yeah. It, it's she's terrified here. Um, so I don't know. Like, I it's very it's very interesting. 
Thanks yeah. for oh well, Aravi gifted a, a sub to Mr. Aww. Booze Bags JD. I just don't know why Booze I, I had the urge to read that out loud. That's a good name. Booze Bags, thank you, thank you. We're almost to ten subscribers. That's really cool. Thanks, guys. Um, whose hand is that? Is that Dina's hand? I don't know. And you know, I can't like tell. Teeny, teeny bit. I can't tell who's uh, behind them. It's blurred. Let's see. Is that Dina? Or is that um? Hold on. I cannot tell. Because, <sighs> like, my other thought is it's maybe. <sighs> I'm torn. It could be either when she was at the hospital, a flashback to the hospitals when she's about oh. to maybe go under to have the like the surgery done. And maybe yeah. she, which I don't think she would react this way because I think she's okay with dying because this is obviously yeah, her, her purpose it. on earth. So I don't really think it's a flashback to when she was in the hospital the first time. Um, so the second thing would be like, maybe she, you know, we're getting into the, yeah, you got the pin up for a reason, but she gets really, she gets beat up in a scene and it, she, like, I think she gets to the point where she's knocked out. She don't see anything wrong with her face here, but maybe this is after, no. after the brutal scene that we're, 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 we know from the game and maybe she was taken to the hospital oh. afterwards, you know, um, that, that and, looks like this face, and maybe waking up and cause she's remembering what just happened. Um, yeah. So maybe that's 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 it. I I don't know. I have no idea because this is not from the game. But she has like a night yeah. like a gown on and stuff. Like I feel like she does have a shirt. She's just got like this like blanket gauze. gauze. It looks like gauze. Yeah, it's very strange. Like we're getting stuff that's not in the game, which makes me so excited. Me too. Me too. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, right. I think it's a hospital bed. The way it looks, there's people around. It's gauze. She's like, yeah, I don't know. One I don't of those know. Things is it could possible. be any of those things. I can't wait to see what it actually is. What's actually oh God, happening I can't, here. I can't, I can't um, all right. Next scene. Okay. All right. Looks like some people are storming Jackson, which I also don't remember this from the game. But it's also like no. snowing heavily, which I know in the in the winter here, it's always snowing. Um, yeah, but in the game, there's some snow, and a mm -hmm. and a, you you know the when it's snowing in Jackson, what part of the game you're playing through? <laughs> so is this in the same time frame? Is this happening? Um, I can't really tell for sure if the the people that are storming no. are they zombies or, or I'm sorry, not zombies, clickers, or are they like because they don't look. They look like they all have clothes on and they're... I'm just trying to see if how I can see how they're running. Yeah, I I can't now, tell. Now, do you think that's from the inside or the outside, though? Is this, like, hmm. the citizens? This is definitely from the outside, because I could see them up on the fence shooting. Okay. Like you can okay. still see the fence. Yeah. Uh, this, this is people storming Jackson for some reason. Mm -hmm. And Which, Tommy is on the roof, right? Yeah, he's got his... Or the... He's snipe, sniping folks with his rifle. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't really recognize this. Flashback? Maybe yeah. Again? Which, you know, this sort of just came to me. Um, what if... Because... we Here we go. I'm going to start talking about the game a little bit. Obviously, you're following Abby around um, in the snow near the beginning of the game. And they're trying to find Jackson because they're trying to find Joel. Um, and there's zombies and a horde, they, not a huge horde, but there's a group of them they, they encounter and Abby's running from them. So, I mean, it, I don't know if they would ever do this, but like, what if Abby comes here first? Cause you know, it's Joel and, um, Tommy who's out on patrol that, and that they, yeah. they find Abby, but Tommy's up here. Like, I, yeah. I don't know. Or is this just an attack that Jackson's facing from clickers? Like. Or is this Abby's group of folks like storming them? I I don't know. I don't think they would go that much off the beating beaten path with from the game. But I I don't know. I don't I don't recognize this from the game. Yeah, I I mean it could be 
I don't think it would be a situation where it's like, is this a group of people and they like turn them away? Could be. It could be that too. Just some people trying to seek shelter, but why are they out just running towards the gate? Yeah, a big group. So that's why I'm like, they got it's got maybe it's clickers. Like, they look maybe they're fresh, freshly turned. (laughs) Maybe it's showing a little bit of like the origin of Jackson. Could be in the beginning. Yeah, it could be like a flashback. Like you know, because they're they're pretty strict on like who they let in and and stuff. So because I mean, they you saw how they encountered or how they handled. Jill and Elliot in the show last season. Yeah. yeah. Um. Anyways, hard to say. Yeah, hard. that one it's, was one that threw me off a little bit too. Yeah, and it looks like this is a continu- a scene that's continuing from that where we see Tommy up on the the gate there taking out these folks. So yeah. I just also don't see them like just killing people that need help. So that's why I'm trying to. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to wrap my my head around it thinking like maybe it's just it's just clickers but they all have good looking clothes on they don't look dirty and raggedy yeah. like most clickers do that would be in the in the forest of jackson <laughs> during the winter i this, agree this one's confusing i don't know i don't know what's happening here yeah but you're right it might just be a flashback tommy looks cool shooting his gun uh-huh this scene's good okay yeah okay yeah. oh my gosh we got the Seraphites. Yeah. Is that how you say it? Yeah, we got a first look at the the Seraphites and run through the woods, which this also feels like it's directly out of the game when yeah. Ellie encounters them for the first time, or even um, Abby, her scene where she's getting strung up. Um, yeah. It's cool. Could be. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what, what how far they go with this storyline, because they got There's a lot, lot of... Yeah, they got a lot of material they could work with and i hope they make them definitely uh a group that you get you're scared of at first until you know like what they are because like when you first encounter in the game you just hear these like hear these people whistling and i'm I'm like i'm already sort of creeped out by cults and you know religious groups sometimes they're a little they can be a little wacky and just a cult in the woods and i'm just trying to survive is the most terrifying situation so I, I wonder how, uh, not creepy, but just how uh, unsettling unsettling they might make them. Uh, I don't know where yeah. I'm going with that. You know what I mean in the show. Yeah, I do. I do. And I think that they are. It is a like a and very interesting like side quote plot of the yeah. second game, um, especially of- when you get to like walk around the air, their area. No, yeah, yeah, that's what I was about. I, just, I didn't mean to cut you off. That's what I was about to bring up because it's just more great storytelling that you learn just from the, envi- building. the environment and notes that you pick up. So, you know, uh, from the last or from the first season, they they did a little bit of that. Um, yeah, cool. All right, next scene. I do think it's interesting, oh, really quick, yeah, that yeah, they yeah. don't show they don't show us Yara and Lev mm-hmm, at all. Mm-hmm. So they do. It looks like maybe just like random people, which it, is fine. Yeah, they are keeping, um, still keeping some secrets from us. Like we know more characters are going to be introduced, but it, is, it mm-hmm. always makes you think like, why haven't they shown this person yet? You know, it's pretty cool. Could uh, be that they're not in this like first half. You know. Yeah, we'll that's true. First look oh. at Dina, oh. which I'm trying to figure out where this scene could be. Um, cause she looks upset. She looks like she's crying and I'm just trying to think of the moments where she got that upset. Um, yeah, I don't know. know. Maybe this is her going to, uh, look like, you know, cause you know, she in the game, like her and uh, who was Jesse, Jesse, they end up finding Ellie and Joel and them in the basement. And like, I remember her trying to like, you know, wake her up or get her to get up. And she's just like crying. So maybe this is her like looking at the situation. I don't know. Like. It'd be. Early, I do think that like. In the game, that, that's the only thing I see her like being this upset about. I do too. Um, especially since she it, later on has a pretty positive outlook on like the, like trying to as much as you can. And I do also note like, you know, majority of the time, I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember majority of the time in the game, 
she has her hair pulled back, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's like a small thing. It's a small thing, but that means you know when your hair is up, you're going to fight yeah. some clickers. Okay, you don't need them grabbing at you. I learned that exactly. from Telltale Walking Dead. You want to cut? Uh, I forgot the main guy's oh. name, but he told the little girl he was traveling with because you know there's zombies in there too. Like we like we gotta cut your hair because uh, you don't want anybody grabbing it. Uh, Robbie said the hair is a good point. I didn't notice. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just thought about that. I feel like her look is very classic with like the pull back hair. Um, majority of the game, especially when they're in like tactical mode. So maybe this could, like Jericho was saying, indicate that it's like early, early. Yeah, didn't game. anticipate having to go on a mission here. We're just, we were casually yeah. strolling and then disaster has struck. <laughs> okay, maybe also, that's what's going on. <laughs> Also, a little side thing, um, the lantern, I think, really drives home, though, when you're lost in the darkness, look oh, for gosh. light. Shut up, Kayla. You're so cool. Bringing up <laughs> these subtle things that have such big That's meaning. Like, you know, I just love analyzing. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things. Well, this is the oh, show yeah. for you. I'm glad you're able to do this with <laughs> me. <laughs> and it's Isabella Merced is her yeah. name, right? But she's <gasps> she, she's blowing up. She's in the new Alien she's movie. Cool. Gonna be Hog Girl. She's been in a lot of few. Oh, I say a lot of few things. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. She's been in a, quite a few things recently. So excited to see yeah. her uh, be Dina. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Here, here's our first shot of Ellie taking a shot. <laughs> yeah, with a big old gun. Which she you, got her hair pulled back. Which I was watching. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready to... No one's pulling Ellie's hair here. Um, which I was watching. I recently got a Blu-ray player. And... Because I did not realize the PlayStation 5 doesn't actually play Blu-ray quality. Quality. Even though yeah. it will read them. It's just not the same quality. And I had The Last of Us on 4K Ultra HD or whatever it is. So I of course, put, put of that course. in there and started watching it. But I remember there was a scene like where Ellie's like trying to grab this uh, Joel's assault rifle, and he's like, "Uh, uh-uh. uh," <laughs> like near the beginning. Yeah. He's like, "Can I?" She's like, "Can I see that?" So I thought that was pretty cool that like in this scene, uh, she's got looks like an assault rifle. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, nice still. <laughs> I did Jerica. good. I didn't anticipate that because I'm not that fast, but that luck is on our side tonight, Kayla. Where do we think we are here? It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, well, I don't know. It could be it could be a few places, but you know. Yeah. It's could, a big old gun. I, I definitely think it's like later on. Um, yeah. After they've sort of explored Seattle, I think this might be still Seattle, but it, well, they stay in Seattle, but maybe the school or the uh, news, Ooh, the point. news station, you know, oh, where the okay. Seraphite's got some folks strung up and stuff. I don't, remember, I don't know if you remember that because I know it's been a while since we both have played. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking, should we try to play the game again before? I definitely want to. We got I think time. I do too. And, you know, they had the yeah. PS5 version of it come out. And yeah. I still have it. I started because I started playing, playing it on, like, I one that. of the harder difficulties, and I just keep dying. I'm like, I'm not a gamer, for real. I'm not, a, <laughs> I'm not this kind of gamer. <laughs> yes, I just, just want to play it on easy and relive yeah. the story again and get really sad. Um for sure. But I yeah. think that I'll also need to rewatch the first season, too. Oh, maybe. yeah. I mean, well, we'll I got it on the Blu-ray if you want to come over. Ooh, Down that would the be Blu-rays. fun. The Blu-rays. The Blu-rays. But, yeah, this is a really short. I think that's just like a pew, pew, pew. image. Sally shooting yeah. guns. Great. She's got good. Like, she's been practicing. Yeah. And then we get this nice shot Ooh. of the Jackson Mountains, Wyoming. 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 Shenandoah River. Sorry. That's very short. Oh. But I do see a little person. You see a person on the cliff there. Notice that. Well, it's very tent. Yeah. It's in the I can't mm. center left. Looks like next to a rock or a tent. So maybe that's uh Ooh. Yeah. You see a little Sorry. person? It's probably Addy. Robbie gave a good tip. Huh? He said a Robbie said Gave a re- sorry to interrupt. He gave a good tip in the chat that said, "If you press period, it goes forward Shut one frame." Up. And You've changed up. my yeah. life. You've changed my life. <laughs> I don't know why I said it. <laughs> You've changed my life. Had no idea. This is great. I'm gonna do this so often now. God, 
Wow. Thank Man, you. Man, I am just. Oh, this is great. Yeah. Man, we could have been doing hey, this. Hey, why can't you have told us this earlier? Arani, he probably, because like, I'm that good at it, he probably thought I was doing it because I'm really good at clicking. <laughs> oh, he likes to <laughs> pixel peep. Ooh. Ooh. That would have been also a good name for a podcast, Pixel Peeps. Oh, yeah, that Pixel actually is Peep. really cute. All right. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're in this next scene here. Here I. Okay, here we go. First look at Isaac. Uh, and I cannot remember his name, but he's reprising his role. He's him. I have it. In the Jeffrey game. Wright. Yeah, thank you. He is the same character in the game. So, really cool. cool. You know, he's already a good actor. Might as well have a good actor in the show too when he can so that's, yeah. that's exciting to see him and see that character brought to life a little bit more because we see glimpses of him here there um but you know ultimately it's so it is a character i semi sort of forgot about just because their significance is huge yeah um, i did then, do a little bit of research go ahead. i can yeah, talk sure. about it now or later no do it now about do it other now. character because i also forgot about him yeah <laughs> I mean, it was a great but performance. He, I remember what yeah. his character was doing, but in, in comparison to other uh, leads and the other things happening in the game, we sort of forgot about him. I did find an article. If anybody wants to look at it, I did pull some of my inspiration from Kotaku. Um, the article is by Kenneth Shepard. There we go. Um, and the article is like 10 things we noticed um, from The Last of Us season two trailer, teaser trailer. And so I was kind of trying to see like what other people thought about certain scenes yeah. just to kind of get a vibe. Uh, Isaac is head of the, like, the wolves. Um, the I forget the like technical. It's like, it's like the liberation of yeah. Washington. WLS. Kind of yeah. Yeah. Washington and so liberation he front. Uh, uh, yes. WLF. That's it. Yeah. Abby's boss. Exactly, yeah. And so he's more like kind of like a mastermind behind the scenes because I read that like from what some things that I slightly remembered and like some things that I read is like he kind of like, a, you know, Abby's um, mission was to do what she did, but he kind of like allowed her to go and was like in on it in a way. Um, and basically we're introduced to him. This might be important. Um, where we get introduced to him in the game is when he's torturing the Seraphite prisoner. Do you remember that? Uh, I sort of do now. Briefly. Yeah. Um, so maybe we, that's like played into it a little bit potentially, but one thing that was interesting that I read about just as a quick ad before we move on was that we only see him through Abby's perspective hmm. in the game. Very true. So does that confirm that we ah. get both perspectives? I like that. I've never, I I actually have not, uh, I don't know, we got some kind of stuff in the it. chat again. Don't click the link. I don't know what it is. How do I get rid of that? We don't need cheap viewers. I need expensive viewers. I only want quality in our chat. I don't know how to delete things. It's part of I got it. I got some it. things I'm going to learn about soon. So Nice. Good job, it. Kayla. Delete. Delete. Junk. Here. Uh, so, yeah, that's something interesting, potentially, right? Where, like, does that mean that we get... Does that confirm anything? Maybe not, but it is an interesting um, kind of thing that, like, he is heavily in abby's perspective so and you know it may be like his perspective we get it may not necessarily be like the flip like you get in the game but like get some context to why he's doing the things he's doing like maybe yeah for, yeah I, I think i have not thought about that with a lot of these characters really um because you play the game from only two perspectives and not really anything else so yeah. i'm interested to see like how they sort of like separate and have his own story too, if the, if they go into it that far. So. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. And then uh, we uh. get our first look. That's where the, the the period here is coming in real handy. First look at Abby. Looks to be getting smushed uh, by a fence that has uh, clickers squishing, squishing her. 
a little bit. Here we go. Let me go back here just so we can see. Because actually, I haven't done this yet to see if we get like a really good look. Ooh, she looks so mad. She's mad. She's like, uh, help me. And I mean, yeah. I love, I love the because I was wondering like, if they would how much they would show of this character, and obviously just a, a smidge is really all we need. It's, all, it's what the audience that's never played the game. That's all they need um, for mm -hmm. obvious reasons, sort of keep us in the in the in the dark about who this character is. So, like, you know, yeah. obviously for someone that's never played the game, you're just like, you wouldn't, you don't think twice of this this scene here at all. Yeah. You just think it's just some rando getting smushed. I but do think that is a good point. Like, I think it is supposed to, you know, for those who know, no. But yeah, that was the first look we've we've had of Abby. So they're probably going to keep it pretty close to their chest, I think. I think they'll try to leave that to be a part of the, the storytelling where you don't really know. You don't know what this girl's doing. Where's, Any thoughts there? I'm looking... Any other thoughts on a wall? Yes, I'm looking up something really fast. I'm trying to think. I I remember that outfit, like her wearing that beanie. Yeah, that was at the no. beginning of the game, for sure. Okay, that, when she's like, they're out in the snow. Uh, they're 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 looking for. They're trying to get to Jackson. Okay, okay, okay. Or so at least uh, no, was... Owen has found Jackson, and I think he's like, you know. There it is. Let's go together. And she like gets, I forget. She like gets mad. She's like, I'm going right now, basically. Yeah. Or no, she finds out okay. about his drama and stuff. And she's like, I don't believe you. I'll do it myself. And then she gets yeah. stuck with these clickers and gets in trouble. And a couple of guys have to save her, unfortunately. God. <sighs> Little do they know. But I am I am curious <laughs> if they decide to spin that around a little bit and maybe put that in a different place where that happens. I don't know. I, I think they stick to the game with that. I think so too. But who knows? I think it has the most emotional impact. Yeah. I think it'll be the end of episode one. Maybe episode two. I think so too. I didn't really notice this because this is so short but I was like, I really don't remember like after seeing it. I was like, oh, Abby and I feel like I forgot about everything else. But I think that might be Ellie... No, I don't know. Just some folks on a on some yeah. horses. Can't really I tell. Love horses. Maybe it's. Oh no. Oh, actually, before we go to the next scene, it might be. I wonder if uh, that is Joel, Tommy, Abby, but I can't really tell. But it could be more horses. That's just the only snippet we get. I don't know the significant significance of the the people on the horses, but anywho. And we get our first look at looks like a the subway scenes, sewers, subway looks like some skeletons in the on the train there. Ellie's yeah freak, freaked out, <laughs> good scared face like oh my <laughs> god. And we come yeah. to face with a, another clicker. Hey! Oh, it looks so good. Hey, girl. Hey. Have you seen? How y'all doing? I can't wait for you to see Long Legs. I feel like that's the. There's a song that's sang in the in the movie. I'm scared. And I feel like this clicker could sing that. If you've seen Long Legs, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways. <laughs> I want to see it then. Let me in. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> It That's, looks so good. The effects are so good. So scary. Oh, God. And like with the red light effect, like there's some red lighting behind them, emergency lights, whatnot. Yeah. It's just so scary. Oh, it's gonna, those scenes are going to be so scary, so scary. Yeah, for sure. And then we, and then get, we, got we cut back to Joel here. I forget what he says. I saved her. Okay, yeah. Like, yeah. what did you do? And that's from the game, right? Like, he says yep. that, doesn't he? That's from the yeah. game, and but here's where I think, like, you know, and it, it was actually Audrey that brought this up to me first. I was like, wonder why he's talking to this lady about this? Because in the game, mm -hmm. he's talking to Tommy, and it was way more impactful. I'm like, I don't think he needs to have this conversation. Like, it needs, that needs to match the game, for sure. Like, he needs to, because he hasn't opened up to anybody about it. Um, at all. It's just been him knowing this information. He's literally keeping it from Ellie. So, like, who does he... Um, 
who is he? I mean, I would assume his brother would be the person he trusts the most to just finally get this off his chest. So does I, and she was like, I don't think he's actually talking to her. This uh, Catherine Harris character, like he, that's a, 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 a some magic that they're doing. Some clips. It's not in the right spot. Yeah, they're clipping stuff together to make us think this is dialogue between these two characters. But mm-hmm. I don't. I don't think it is. Like, cause I think her character is still a mystery, and she is not a part of this conversation at all. And I agree. I agree yeah. with Audrey. I think that's a cool theory. I think it's definitely possible because I do think, as CC, CC said, frame by frame, that tear. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Um, oh, my God. We'll Horrible. do it again. We'll do it one more time for the, for the viewers. Man, I wonder how... <laughs> I wonder how... Is, is that something he's really good at? Can he do that? Do they put some droplets in his eyes? What's the magic behind shedding a single tear after saying a very impactful line? Yeah. Or is it CGI? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. And here's the thing. I'm thinking more and more that Audrey's right because this man doesn't really open up. Like, yeah. I think that, like, is this, is, does this look like the face of a man that's going to go to therapy? Let's be real. No. <laughs> he doesn't have time for that. He'd rather, he, he can't even talk to Ellie about his, the way he the, loves her. Yeah. They can't even have, like, a normal conversation. In the game, it's even, like, you can tell they both care. But it's so awkward and forced. It's oddly forced. And it always makes yeah. you feel under that first interaction, which I can't wait to see them like shortly after I get the Jackson at the very beginning of the game. It's just uh, their interaction's almost painful to watch because he's just trying to connect with her and she's just like, okay, whatever. Yeah. And he like tells her a joke. That's going to hurt. Yeah. So like this dude. He has a hard time connecting anyway, so yeah, I don't I don't see I don't see him talking. I don't think this is a therapist or even a lady friend. Uh, I think yeah. he's talking to Tommy in this scene, so So who do you think she is then? I'm still sticking with like I could see her being the the leader of the Seraphites, which was already like the the top like prediction that's who she is. And I and I, I really do think that she's that character because you know they see you see these uh portraits of this woman but you never meet her i don't i can't remember like in the story like is she this person dead or not but you know the 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 murals with the lady that they're all like sort of hinting at being the boss of the seraphites yes that's where my memory's a little fuzzy but i always thought like it'd be really cool to see that how did how did that group begin i don't know if that's needed to progress the story at all but i don't know i don't know i or she could just be a random new character in jackson for all i know but i i don't i, I don't i see more so like seraphite related um maybe her character i do think that's definitely possible um i also i think that i, I did i did see that theory in other places as well um that it could be her but Let's say, what does she say again? Will you go back to her scene? Oh, yeah. I think she's like, what did you... I think she asked, like, what... Oh, yeah. Let's... let's. Oh, wait. I went way let's, too far. Let's think of it as if she's talking to, like, some... Who else could she be talking to? What then did you what, do? Then what did you do? But it looks okay. like she's, like, she's got... <sighs> Normal clothes on. Yeah, she's she's got Kinda. lipstick on. Earrings. And earrings, a yeah. A sweater. So... This might be a flashback, though. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Who is this? Who is she? Wait, go back again. What did she? What was the first thing she said? Let's see. Oh, did you hurt? Did her? you hurt her? Huh. Then what? What did you do? But I don't know. I don't freaking know. I don't. <sighs> wonder if they could be talking about is that all she says i think that's all she said yeah i'm trying to think what else she could be talking about did you hurt her and he says i don't know i was like i'm trying to think how that could relate to the seraphites but i off the top of my head i do not know robbie's like it's just it's like it's just edited for the trailer yeah i i mean i'm trying to con- 
pair of like environments are they in the same place you it's just blurry it's blurry enough where i just really can't tell like the um, light okay. Rock okay here we go here we go chat go go ahead also thank you sorry i didn't mean to cut you off oh no kayla's frozen oh no You're oh there she is she's back you're good you're glitching or I'm glitching? I do not Can you know. you hear me? Yeah, sorry. We, we turned into robots for a minute. I don't know. Yeah, I've, I have not had this be an issue. Hello? Hello? Are we can there? <laughs> I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah, I don't know which one of us is glitching. Maybe it would it help to stop the stream of the video? Oh, yeah, it might. It might, actually. We already um, finished. I do want to compare one Jones. last thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, cuz let's be detectives here. So the lights come in behind like light is coming in behind Joel and it looks like she's got light on her face. Some lighting. Is that from okay. the window? I can't tell. I can't tell. Mm. We're just going to have to wait to find out cuz I have no idea about that one. It looks like it's nighttime though. Her light looks like artificial light and his light it looks does. like natural okay. light. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, we can put our tin foil hats on here and see like what's actually happening. Uh, also, I think it was me from the chat, but I think I'm fine now. Sorry about that, y'all. Oh. Anyways. Well, okay. Interesting. Wow. Wow. wow, wow. See, we did it. An hour long of just 24 seconds. <laughs> we did it. Thought that you yeah. would think that would be hard. It's not. Uh, no, it's really not. Honestly, <laughs> can I stop watching your? Okay, oh, I go, did go. the wrong cool. thing. I know I shouldn't have quit sharing my screen because now our cameras are messed up. So hold, hold on. I'm gonna share my screen back. No. <laughs> uh, hold on. Hold our horses here. Let me pull up YouTube. Okay, again. Bobcat. This is a good time. Tell us. You said you have a theory as to who she is. What yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear. We aren't sure, to be honest. But those are some of our theories, the prophet of the Seraphites and or I think it's a stretch to say it's like a therapist. But OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bobcat also think it's the prophet. I think that's a great, okay, yeah. great theory that we were talking about. I think that, um, you know, they, they intentionally talk about the Seraphites or show them. So I think that they might be a plot point of the season. So good theory, good theory. Um. Anything else? I'm trying to think of what else we think. Oh, I was going to talk about that article. Can I do that now? You yeah, that's, good that, time? that's a good way to sort of wrap up, like, because, I mean, all of this goes into the, the conversation, like, what are they going to expand on? How much, how many episodes, which I think it's been revealed that there's seven episodes this season. So it's, it's a few less than last time, which I think there was nine. Nine? I think so. Yes, uh, yes, and yes, yes. Technically, the the first episode was first two episodes were one big episode, I think, at the beginning, and they split them. True. Um, so even with seven episodes, I I bet a few of those are going to be long ones. Oh, I hope so. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, oh my god! But yeah, you know, and I think you you have the article or what they talk about, like you know, definitely not going to be able to squeeze the whole game into win one season. They've confirmed that. Yeah, so um, the article, because I, I had thought that that was the case, and we may have mm -hmm. mentioned it before, but I wanted to find the actual article where, in the interview, um, where they mention it. So this is from GQ, um, and the article is by Sam White from earlier this year, an interview that um, they did with Craig Mazin and Neil Druckmann. And the specific thing that I wanted to highlight, um, the interview is actually really good. I read through most of it, and there's there's definitely some cool nuggets sprinkled throughout. And they're just really, you know, the interviewer is asking them about season two. Obviously, they're going to be kind of reserved. They don't necessarily go into a ton of detail. But, sorry, give me just a second. Um, this is a, a piece from the article. Like People are also speculating how... Or no, this is um, the question that he poses. People are speculating how season two will encompass such a large game. Will the next season span the entire course of the second game? Uh, Mazin shakes head, no, no way. Uh, Druckmann 
it's more than one season. Uh, interviewer, can you tell us if there's two or three seasons? Uh, Mazen, you have noted correctly that we will not say how many, but more than one is factually correct. So. <laughs> nice. Good answer. <laughs> so th- yeah, and so I think that's, you know, that's cool that we we do know that. So he didn't necessarily confirm how many seasons, which I understand, like, you know. I mean, he probably just way, really but. has doesn't know yet. They just know they also got true. a lot of story they can work with, and they don't, it's good now they don't have to be tied down to one, just one more season to tell it. So they're going to spread it out in a, in a smart way. I don't think they go too far into something that's not in the game um but i definitely think we get it might feel that way for this first season like oh they really didn't have a lot of stuff from the gate or they definitely had more of not game stuff in this season because the season's gonna be shorter but in the if you spread it out though like because they have multiple seasons there's a lot of game stuff there stuff from the game they're gonna have in in different seasons but this first season, they I might agree. have half from the game and then half of extra stuff they can um, add in that we just need to see or have more context about that pushes mm-hmm. the story f- further. But also, like, the second game plays with flashbacks a lot. Yeah. So does that impact... Does the flashbacks have the same kind of impact um, for the TV adaptation versus the game? Like... They could show us a lot of those stuff, a lot of those flashbacks, like chronologically, or they just stick to what's happening now and then a flashback. I I don't know. Like they, it, I'm not a writer, but I could feel like it could be fine either way in my book. Like yeah, as long as you know it makes everything flow well together. And it's cool that they're giving like you know Neil Druckmann the opportunity to tell more of the story. You know, like, mm-hmm. I think that's really cool. Um, I could see them doing a whole episode dedicated to the time sin between the two games. Yeah, like, no, I, like, can, I, I, I can I, see them doing that. I really want them to do that. Like, I really, I hope they do that. Because I think, I think the, I think the, in the first season, I still think Joel and Ellie's adventure just happened so fast that that was the only, like, one of my, not complaint, but just something I wish I could have. I would wish they had more time together to sort of, you can see, I I wanted to believe their connection got stronger a little bit. Like, I feel like I need a few more scenes to see that grow versus, it's hard to put into words. It sounds like I'm being really harsh about it, but I, I don't feel the companionship or that of evolution of Ellie and Joel not trusting each other and then starting to really get close. That happened so fast in the first season um, yeah. to the point where, I played the game, so I get it, but I don't know if like other people that were watching the show and don't know about the game get where their connection, how, how solid it got near the end of the season. I feel like they they need a little bit more time to build their relationship up a little bit. So I'm curious, Mm -hmm. like what they, what else they do to make us feel a little bit more connected to them as, as they're the duo that, I don't want anybody mm-hmm. to mess with them. Everybody leave Joel and Ellie alone. Um, yeah. So I'm curious, like, how they uh, flesh out their relationship. Yeah. Um, I'm very excited. <laughs> Me too. Like, really excited. Well, uh, really quick, Bob- Bobcat said in the chat, uh, I, I think there's a lot more to explore with the Prophet. Uh, since they were only referenced in part two, definitely possible. Other thing, Neil Druckmann said he had so much story he really couldn't explore with the games. A lot, like a lot of changes he made for season one. Absolutely, let's go. Using- I don't know. I forgot what I was gonna say. I'm getting a little tired, so I'm sorry if I'm starting to ramble yeah. and not make sense. I hope I'm still making sense here. Yeah. Uh, hello, game over, Cholo. It's been a minute. Hiya. Ah! We're almost done, but we're glad you're here. Well, yeah, we've we've talked over an hour about a 24 second teaser. Which I can't wait oh. to see when we get like in a minute and a half uh, trailer. Hopefully, I hope we get uh, the first real trailer next month um, for Last of Us Day. Because I feel like they did that last, that, that's, that was last year. I feel like we got the, when did we get the first like real trailer for season one? Oh, I don't know. Um, let me see. I can't. 
Thanks, Caitlin, for being our researcher today. I'm trying. I'm afraid okay. to click anything else on my screen. Okay. The first trailer per, uh, appeared... Wait. <laughs> this is me. Well, let me see. Let me see. First trailer... Uh, HBO... Last of Us. Um, Game Over Cholo, I'll grab the rerun for this clicker bait. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. We spent a lot of um, time going scene by scene and <laughs> talking did. about our thoughts. So literally of course scene, we did. point by point. Because of course. You know, that's why we have this side podcast. Okay. So yeah, HBO released the first trailer for Last of Us on September 26th. So. Oh, okay. When so did we, it come? And it came out? In February or January? February. End of January. February. Some yeah. yeah. So I, 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 just because we got a teaser already, and if we get another trailer, less episodes, but I know there are long episodes, uh, I don't know what will be shorter or longer. I definitely think this is early next year. I really hope so, anyway. I sure. But then there, I don't, I don't know. Who, I hope it is. But just because it, it's been shown off so soon, like, I definitely think now it has, it has a possibility to come out, like, earlier in the year next year. I think so too. It would be cool if they did like the same kind of timeline. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking forward to it. You guys know, again, if you're joining like later on, we will definitely be doing an episode by episode breakdown, just like we did with the first season. If you want to binge, if you haven't listened to our breakdown, or if you want like a recap and you don't necessarily want to watch every episode, um, definitely check out our, oh, Ravi. That was so nice that you gave him that. Woohoo! We made our goal! Thanks, guys. Very yeah. kind. Yeah. That's what the Twitch streamers say, right? Yeah. You know? I think so. If it's a goal. Yeah. Um, totally. But no, seriously, we really appreciate it. Um, that is going to be it, I think, for the episode, but definitely you might see more from You definitely will see more from us, honestly. Whenever the full trailer comes out, we'll definitely do another breakdown. Uh, check out our older episodes if you want. Um, I'll definitely plan as soon as we get like a release date. I'll definitely plan for a. Um, I'm gonna save that. I might stream playing part two because I'm such a loser. I was so excited for Grounded, but Destiny at the beginning of the year just took over my life. So I did not play yeah. any. I didn't even touch Grounded. I'm yeah. so bummed. So maybe I'll play that and like replay part two. Definitely stri like stream. I got real country. I'm gonna stream a little bit. Stream stream a little bit, and. Yeah, I look forward to hearing what the release date is. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys for joining. We appreciate it. If you're catching the end, definitely go back and watch from the beginning. Fun Woo time. Bye. Bye. I don't know what I was. It was a really awkward goodbye. I did not know what I wanted. What I wanted to say. <laughs> I saved her. Oh, but she didn't really.